The wild 70s are back, at least on two wheels. Motorcycle nostalgia has ruled the world now for a few years. Even Honda is riding the strong retro wave. Originally, the Japanese presented the CB754, the first four-cylinder bike ever on wired spoke wheels. Now they use their own tradition for the classic CB1100EX, including historic logo on the tank. It has a radiant appearance, but is the Honda even the perfect blend of classic and modern? Today in my garage, I caught a glimpse of the current neoclassic, the Honda CB1100EX. In 1969, the Japanese totally amazed the motorcycle world with the first mass-produced bike with a four-cylinder engine. And since 2010, this model is a reminder of its legendary predecessors. And because of noise and exhaust regulations, it will perhaps be the last newly developed four-cylinder of all. It is a typical neoclassic in the sense that a classic design is combined with modern high-tech. Thus one has the benefits of these two worlds. And a person of optimal age like myself naturally goes for the classic design. It will be interesting to see how the Honda feels compared to competitors from BMW or Triumph, for example. Linchpin of the classical appearance of the CB1100EX probably the last newly developed air-cooled four-cylinder in a production motorcycle. Fin fetishists get their money's worth here and they will also love the higher position of the cylinder heads in the double overhead camshaft. Classic wheels and plenty of chrome to match the smooth bench in the style of the 1969 CB754. This is true even for the color of the clock faces. Best agers will remember well. The analog digital mix with gear indicator has succeeded. Both comfort and optics work. Leather seat, round lights everywhere, and even the two horns under the headlight look as if they came from an earlier era. Braking is with double discs and ABS, for in the right places, even a classic big bike like this should be completely up to date. And this does the charm no harm. An air-cooled four-cylinder like this with its classic fins is simple, really like a sculpture, this twin cam. But there are plenty of other classic elements in the CB1100EX, for example the fenders which deserve their name, made of sheet metal and not plastic, then the wire spoke wheels naturally, chrome instruments, and what I find particularly appealing the instruments are highlighted with petrol blue, like in the CB750 Mark IV back then. These are all just memories from the heritage of Honda, which I personally find very sympathetic and which not only older customers will like. The data sheet of the CB1100EX reveals Honda's Neo Classic is a true grumpy force. The price-performance ratio is very good. Look and listen to see if the magnificent four-cylinder is more than just a pretty boy. The optical attraction of the 1100 drive is unquestionable, but when driving, the engine also discloses plenty of inner values, especially powerful and acceleration. The four cylinders set the scene. And thus, the CB1100EX never seems tested, despite having only 90 horsepower. Whatever you want from it, it provides, and in a truly velvety way. 93 newton meters of torque are available at 5,000 RPM, and now that's enough to rarely have to fuss around in the buttery six-speed gearbox.
the sound from the 4 and 2 exhaust system is perfect, even though four tailpipes and a little more sound would be quite sexy. A crisp engine sound in the style of the 70s would also do this four-cylinder good. Here exhaust accessory specialists could lend a hand. With a seat height of just under 80 centimeters, the 1100 Retro Honda is not only suitable for giants, nevertheless, even taller passengers feel at ease on it. The enormous weight can only be felt at very low speeds. Mostly, enjoyable cruising is the order of the day. Despite this, you can also take one or the other curve very rapidly at any time. One truly doesn't have to be a graying, hopelessly outdated, nostalgic person to appreciate bikes like the Honda CB1100EX. This engine is truly excellent. It runs silky smooth. I think the 90 horsepower is completely enough. It's no declaration of war, but suitable for the appearance of the bike. You sit very relaxed, and it doesn't want to accelerate wildly. The chassis is beyond all doubt, and so here you have a really beautifully designed classic. At the same same time, it offers the latest technology. It leaves no oil stains on the garage floor and has no fear of glitches like with a real classic. Whether one chooses the four-cylinder Honda or perhaps the classic Boxer, also from BMW, or the parallel twin Triumph, is of course a matter of taste.